And yet, have you noticed how often we get offended when someone confronts us? Have you noticed that our first action is often denial? This is what's going on. No, it's not. This is what needs to change. No, it doesn't. That we face these things and we are oh so fast to come to our own defense rather than to look in the mirror of God's character and see what our hearts actually look like. See, the tests are not for God's sake. They're for ours. God knows what's in us. Remember, he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. At the beginning of Psalm 139, David wrote this, the first six verses. Say, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. The tests are not for God to discover us, but they are God showing us ourselves. We are a people of denial. What might be even worse is that we are a people that honestly believe that if we could simply avoid pressure points, avoid pressure places, that we would then live in peace. We are a people that think that if we could just not go here, not experience this, not face that, then our lives would be great, our hearts would be good, our minds would be at rest, that we don't need change, we just need to be protected. We really believe that, and yet what we have failed to recognize throughout Scripture is that it is God who applies the pressure. It's God who creates the tension, because peace is not when everything is what we think it should be. Peace is when we become who we were created to be. Peace is when the pressure is applied and we don't fail. Peace is when tension comes and we don't give up. Peace is when we can say, my heart has become like his. My character has been transformed. I have the mind of Christ. I have the heart of Christ. And everything that goes wrong does not send me back to what I was, but it pushes me forward into who I'm meant to be. We struggle because we want peace to be easy. And what peace is, is confidence in the midst of difficulty. It's when I am sure of Him. It's when I'm confident in Him. It's when I'm yielded to Him. It's when I don't need everything to be just so, so that my life can be what it needs to be, or what He has called me to be. 